Hey, welcome back to another installment of Food Dude, the where to go and what to eat in San Francisco web show. So, Jewish deli. Where can you get decent Jewish deli in San Francisco? That is a problem that has plagued everybody. Thankfully, we've got Miller's East Coast, a delicatessen that's got brisket, corned beef, pastrami, matzo ball soup, all the traditional Jewish favorites. Come on in, let's check it out. Robbie Morgenstern, fat guy. Miller's East Coast West. Well, you know, don't trust a, uh, a thin deli man, yeah. right? Wait till the pizza place opens. We opened in 2000, we were East Coast West Delicatessen, East Coast Deli on the West Coast. And then there were a couple of ownership changes. Uh, a couple of people had to leave, a couple of people came in. And March two years ago, I shortened the name up to Miller's East Coast Deli, which makes a little more sense when you answer the phone. Well, look who it is. It's my old friend, Ray. Hello, Jeff. What a coincidence. What's up, baby? Seeing you here. So the special today was chicken kreplach. I like to go for the kreplach, but it was spelled kreplach. I'm not going to argue. It's all right. Basically, what it is is chicken soup with what I would call Jewish-style ravioli. We've got a Chinese wonton wrapper as our outside, and then the filling is a blend of brisket, onions and celery, salt and pepper. What are you hungry for? We're at an East Coast deli. I'm going to have to get a Reuben. My favorite sandwich prior to opening was a Reuben or a Rachel. Grilled rye bread with Swiss cheese, sauerkraut, Russian dressing, and either corned beef or pastrami or both. So I'm going to get the uh, combo sandwich, the two meat combo. Uh, and I'd like pastrami and brisket, please. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's like the two best on one. This sandwich is $10.99. Now, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, $10.99, it sounds like a lot for a sandwich, but this is a lot of meat. And I'm telling you, this sandwich, the equivalent of this sandwich in New York City or LA is gonna be at least $14.99, $15.99 and up. $10.99 is a bargain for the amount of meat and the quality of food we got here. Mmm, look at that. Talk to me specifically about what I'm eating, the rye bread. The rye bread comes from New Jersey. It's a company called Pector's, which is a big baker in southern Jersey. All the big delis in New York, northern New Jersey, Maryland, D.C., Philly, would carry something very comparable, if not that. Pastrami comes from Detroit, Michigan. Roast beef we make here, turkey we make here. The corned beef is cooked here in San Francisco, Robert's Corn Meats. So I know for a lot of people, deli is all about the meat. It's like, it's about pastrami or corned beef and nothing else. The meat is important, but for me personally, I really like all the supplemental stuff. Potato latkes, noodle kugel, or a knish. The three round ones, we bake here ourselves. This is the meat, the potato, and the spinach. The square one is a popular one from New York that we have bring in every week. Potato, it's called a gabilla knish, also called a Coney Island. It's like this is the oh, this authentic is the New York okay. street knish. Do you put anything on these? I like put mustard on it, thank you very much. That's good. That's canicious. Yeah. Love the knish. That is good. <laughs> and now we come to the mustard lesson. Here's some yellow mustard. That's what you put on your hot dog. Exactly. Don't get me wrong, there's a place for yellow mustard in the world. That mustard's pretty yellow. Kind of unnatural looking, if you ask me. Folks, this is deli-style mustard. It's leaning a little more to the darker end of the spectrum. As you can see, it's got a lot more texture, a little more character, and quite frankly, a little more flavor. So when you're ready to step up to the big leagues and eat some big boy sandwiches, you gotta put the real mustard on, the real deli-style brown. Go for it. Just like that. Here's an expert at work. Now, while he's got his mouth full, let me ask you something. If you had that with yellow, would it taste as good? I don't want to think about that. Spoken like a true deli meister. I mean, there needs to be a place for Jewish food or East Coast food. I don't even know that I'm so hung up on the Jewish part of it. It's, it's really the East Coast sort of sandwichy street food. You know, we do our little homages to Philadelphia and Chicago and street food everywhere. If you've got a craving for potato latkes, pastrami on rye, hot corned beef, brisket, a black and white cookie, 
some chicken noodle soup, potato knish, spinach knish. There's really only one place that you're gonna get everything like that in San Francisco, and that's here at Miller's East Coast Deli. This is the spot for Jewish soul food. So I had to pretty it up for, for y'all out there in TV land. And I wanna tell all the ladies out there that both of these single, smart, college-educated, worldly gentlemen will not eat with their mouths full if we take you out to lunch or dinner. We're just and doing that for the camera. That's just for the show, because we gotta save time. It's a quick show, so we promise you that. Time is money, but for you, sweetheart, we got all the time in the world. Yep, not all the money, unfortunately.